Developing details now as we learn more about the victims of the New York City terror attack from yesterday. Six of the eight people killed died at the scene. Several others are still trying to recover from some pretty gruesome injuries, as you might imagine. Argentina's foreign ministry identified five of those killed and one who was injured as Argentine citizens. They were part of a group of tourists who had traveled to New York to celebrate their 30-year high school reunion. Dr. Mark Siegel is a professor of medicine at NYU Langone and Fox News contributor. Great to see you today. I uh, let's start with the conditions, because I know you have some connections and you've been able to find out some things. Well, you said uh, eight uh, passed away, unfortunately. Two were dead on arrival at Bellevue Hospital is what I heard from my sources there. And of the ones that survived, um, one of them had a chest tube put in, is now doing quite well. Oh, lung, lung had dropped, got reinflated. Another one had damage to the spleen, and they actually use a technique now where they use an angiogram to actually cauterize the spleen and keep you from needing surgery. And they saved the spleen in another patient. Those two are doing really well. A third was a teen, and she was actually transferred to another hospital and is in the ICU but is expected to do okay. The fourth is a woman who unfortunately, tragically had suffered amputations, had to have mm. that done and, and is in danger of being paralyzed, expected to survive. So those are the ones that I know about and have heard about. All of those will survive, but you can see these are extensive injuries. Yeah, I, I want to pop up and be sensitive as we do this because out of context, this looks different. But as we talk about it, when we pop up what those bicycles look like, if the bicycle looks like that, what kind of injuries are we talking about? I mean, it's, it's heartbreaking to think of. And I can relate to that trail. I've ridden my bicycle there. I've trained on that trail. You know, a lot of it has to do with speed. Harris, if you're hit at 50 miles an hour with a truck, you go flying. And even though everyone has to wear a helmet, and we tell them that, even if you're wearing a helmet, head injuries, you're at risk of that. You know, you can get caught in the metal. You can get thrown fractures, musculoskeletal damage. You could have spinal cord damage. So those are the things you really worry about when you're thrown through the air off of a bicycle. You mentioned Bellevue, and many of our viewers may know uh, its level one trauma is uh, one of the best in, in the country and the world. Yeah, it's been doing this since 1869, sending out ambulances with horses. And it, is, it sees 1,500 patients a year in trauma, most this kind, blunt trauma, you know, th this kind of trauma. And, and it, is, it is really something very specialized for this kind of thing. Uh, all right. So you were talking about some of the injuries. You mentioned the one woman who is uh, having to undergo some extensive surgery. Uh, so our prayers and our thoughts are with him. As a doctor, as you look at the situation just real quickly, um, can you diagnose kind of what's coming down? I think that one thing you and I have talked about a lot here is post-traumatic stress. Mm -hmm. People that have been there, whether they're in the hospital, whether they're not in the hospital, whether they were hit, what, you know, how they've recovered, there, there's going to be big psychological problems yep. from this. It take a long time to heal. With the perpetrator, you know, I've heard that he had a leg injury, that he is out of the woods, and that he's expected to go to the prison. Non-life threatening. Non-life threatening. So they should be able to question him. Dr. Siegel, thank you. Thank you.